Hey everyone, welcome to The Progress Report, episode one. You might be asking, what's The Progress Report? The idea behind The Progress Report is to keep my audience and subscribers informed of the programming projects that I'm working on at the moment. So first and foremost, I've been focusing on getting the word out about the Marshmallow Soundboard. I did this through two videos. One was a how-to video on how to get the Marshmallow Soundboard set up. I also did a promo introducing the project. I tried not to make that too overly technical because I wanted to do another video to cover all of the, the stack used to build the soundboard. In other news, I also resurrected an old project. So many years ago, I worked on a project called Rebound, which was kind of a bong slash breakout clone for a forum competition. It didn't win that competition, but it's always kind of had a place in my heart. It's a C++ project written using the SFML media library. When I built it, the common version of SFML was, I think, 1.7. It was a long defunct project. I couldn't get it to build. Uh, it's just been kind of languishing in GitHub for a little while. But I wanted to bring it back to life. I spent quite a bit of time upgrading the code base up to SFML 2.6, which is the current version. And I really just wanted to get it working in a modern development environment. I created a code blocks project and got it built in there. I'm a little bit out of step with, uh, with C++ and having some kind of an IDE that can build all of the dependencies in the right order and all the libraries is a good thing. So I got it working in code blocks. But I soon realized that code blocks as a development environment is quite antiquated. It's just really hard to, to search through source files. So off the back of that, I decided to look into creating a make file instead. And quite frankly, this project has lots and lots and lots of source files. And I didn't want to spend the time manually making a make file. So what I did is I found a tool that would convert a Coblox project file to a make file. And I ran that and now I have a make file which has all the dependencies in. So it's much easier now to take that source code off of GitHub and build it for yourself if you want to. Now I must say that it's quite an old game now. I wrote it 10 years ago and I wrote it quickly and it, you know, it doesn't represent the sort of best practices of, uh, of my uh, programming ability. It's, it's, it's an old project from when I was in university, so don't expect perfection. But it does compile and it does run on modern operating systems. I've also provided releases in GitHub releases for Windows 64-bit and 32-bit, and I've also done a release for Linux as well. I'm hoping to get a Mac build as well, if possible. Just means I've got to set Xcode up on a, on, a, on a Mac machine and go through the motions there. So that's the summary of what I've worked on in the past few weeks. Moving on to things that I'm currently working on. I'm working on doing a technical review of the Marshmallow soundboard. I understand that I haven't yet done a video showing the uh, stack or any of the code. So I'm going to do that and that should be out in the next few weeks, hopefully. That video should show you how to build the project from source and some of the motivations behind some of the libraries that I chose and the overall stack and just some cool technical stuff. Another thing that I've been working on since last night actually was uh, taking the rebound game source and extracting the SFML library calls because I wanted to essentially strip it back so that I could add a new media library to it. And you might be asking, after upgrading it to SFML 2.6, why would I want to just strip the media libraries out of it and start again? The reason is, I really want to get Rebound working as a web app. And further on from that, I want my game engine that I wrote Rebound with to work in a browser. It's not possible to do that with SFML, but it is possible to do that with SDL. Having used SDL in the past as well on other projects way back, I'm quite confident that I can port the project to SDL. And once I've done that, I can start using a nifty little tool called mscripten to compile the SDL project down to WebAssembly. And then I can add that WebAssembly to a web page and I can make Rebound into a web app. That's the plan anyway. So essentially, I got a bit of a roadmap. The first part of the roadmap was to get the game building with its existing library. Second part, which I'm working on now, is to remove that library and still have the basic shell of the game compile. At the minute, it's just a bunch of terminal screens saying that, you know, this is the draw loop and this is like the event loop and that kind of stuff. Third part of it is to 
port to SDL. That way I can see it working as a desktop app again. And then finally, I'm going to use mscripting to port it to a web app. That's the plan for Rebound. So moving on to things I'm going to work on. As I said, I'm going to port Rebound to SDL. And then I'm going to compile it down to mscripting. This is the main motivation for getting this to work with a make file, because you can take a make file and run it through mscripting's version of make, and then it will build a project for you. So I'm just doing all these little like thin slices to port the game to the web. And then once I have all that working, there's nothing stopping us from building more games using that game engine and having it directly compiled to a web app, which I think is very exciting. More generally as well, I'm trying to improve my video editing skills. I use DaVinci Resolve for my editing, which has made my videos like a million times more slick. It's just a really good editor. I'm investing time in editing videos and adding more effects and improve my uh, editing techniques. So that was my progress report. I hope you enjoyed it. I just want to say thank you for the interest that people have shown in my last two videos. It certainly motivated me to make even more videos and work on even bigger projects or multiple projects at a time. I'm making best use of my spare time working on these projects so I can make more videos for this channel. So thanks everybody. I'll catch you in the next one. You've been watching The Progress Report.